motivate others within the workforce to do it. And I have to say, deep sea fishing has been hugely popular. We run several deep sea fishing events every year, obviously summer appropriate really. But they're always booked up solid. In fact, we've got other people ringing up now to see if they can get in on, in on them who don't work for Ginsters because they've heard of them. So um, it amazed me, but there you go. Um, very much because we were looking at economies of scale, getting larger numbers of people on, we could actually negotiate very good prices from local providers. It also kept them in business. We also targeted people like the local cycle shop, for example. They provided the bikes for us as long as in return we actually sort of encouraged if people said really enjoying using the bikes, which we have there free for local families. Um, where can I go and get some decent advice on getting a new one? We tell them the cycle shop, confident in the fact that they would go there and get a very good deal, but also they wouldn't be sold something they didn't need. So it's that reciprocal agreement. Um, staff were trained up to be nutritional advisors, so we set up swimming clubs within, um, within the business. Started to look at long-term sickness and getting people back into the workplace through, via this sort of programme so they would interact with colleagues so they still felt that feeling of belonging to the business whilst yet not able to come back into their full-time role. So very much, and we found that that's been very effective in getting people back into the work um, very much quicker. Talked about those cycle routes and footpaths. Um, worked with the local town council to purchase a footpath that linked the Ginster site to two of the main um, residential sites and also the local uh, community college which has got 1,600 pupils. Now this lane, I know it personally because my children used to walk it, it's called Muddy Lane and it was well named because it was full of rubble, it was overgrown, it was dark, it had horrible litter, I'm talking needles, all sorts of unsavoury items, broken glass down there and it was the main way to cut from one side of town to the other. So what we did with the local town council it was privately owned, this lane. Town Council agreed to negotiate and purchase it, which they did. We worked with Ginsters to help clear it. And then Cornwall County Council provided decent surfacing, adequate lighting. We all got funding for different elements of it. But because we worked in partnership, it enabled us to get that funding and Cornwall Council. And now it's very well utilised by everybody in the community. And it's a safe attractive walkway for people to walk through. Similarly, there is now a cycle path which connects Ginsters all the way to the local railway station, which is about four and a half miles away from the site. But that doesn't just benefit Ginsters, that benefits everybody that lives in the community as well. And it's used any time of the day. You can go along there, there's people walking in and going cycling on a very dangerous road. It enabled other, other partners to get funding based on this project. The community college that I talked about, they got £50,000 to actually implement a um, dance studio area that was there for the whole community based on the Ginsters programme and utilising it for Ginsters active workplaces. It started to bring in health promotion a lot more. People were much more interested in their health. It's a nightmare, I've done that before. So. 